Okay. Welcome to the Talkish Podcast, episode 63. This is gonna be such a hard video to shoot. My ring light broken, and I'm literally hanging it by the camera lens. This is insane. And also, like, the lighting... First of all, I fixed something gets fixed, something gets ruined. Uh, but I fixed this lighting. I didn't really fix it. I bought a new one. And I literally fixed the white balance on the camera for this lighting to look good because it's fall. Look, this is a fall outfit that I have on. If you see me doing like this a lot, it's because I can only see myself just a little bit. I'm so sorry that I'm like that the intro is about technical difficulties. But yeah, speaking of uh, updates and stuff to gear, I'm getting a new microphone. It just came in today. I'm very excited. Let's see if I shoot the next one with that microphone. Kind of nervous, but it's whatever. Okay. What's up, guys? Llevo tres semanas, creo, sin hacer un episodio. So this is a, kind of a slight comeback. Este, obviamente, pues, the reason that I didn't do an episode last time. Can anyone guess why? Hmm. Is it because a hurricane came? Y, ¿verdad? Mira, yo no iba a estar haciendo episodios de, like, durante ese tiempo. En verdad, yo no estaba para esa mentalmente, ni nadie estaba para contenido que no fuera a ayudar, ¿me entiendes? Como que that was my biggest way to help other than monetarily, como que spreading the word, haciendo mucha búsqueda. Como que también, no sé. That's a whole other conversation. Como que, what conversation do you, like, you ask? Pues esa conversación de como que contenido durante un tiempo de huracán because obviously oh my god I had forgotten about the influencer que posteó sobre como que su viaje a Milan um, a Milan a Milan can I even say it's the first nah this episode is wild se nota que no he grabado in a minute nada uh, obviamente I was out durante el huracán but I really I really did por lo menos no sé this hurricane was different cuando nos dio era huracán o era tormenta todavía It obviamente felt like huracán creo que terminó siendo huracán aquí nada this one was different por varias razones como que teníamos señal barely la señal estaba bien mala como que no es que todo el mundo tenía pero it was definitely more que en María y definitely hubo más inundaciones también I don't know como que this dio fuerte it never ceases to You know, be anxiety inducing, be life changing, como que... Yo no quiero estar todo, todo el uh, episodio hablando del huracán. I will talk a little bit about my experience during it. Comenta su experiencia. I, I hate being like, comment your life changing experience. That, no, pero, you know what I mean, como que... Mira, para mí fue así. Gracias a Dios. I'm, I'm, very, I'm a very privileged person. Eh, yo tuve, gracias a Dios de lo más bien. Quien sufrió sí fue mi abuela. Que I do want to say, it, this was like one of the biggest things durante ese tiempo. Uh, que nunca la voy a olvidar. Mi abuela vive en un sitio donde literalmente no, yo creo que estuvo bastante tiempo sin luz también. Y sin agua también. Y pues mi familia y yo necesitábamos un abanico para ella porque lo había dicho antes, pero mi abuela había sufrido un stroke. Hace unos meses y se está recuperando. She's taking therapy, como vieron en un TikTok que puse de ella. Este, y ajá, ella no puede sufrir. I know, this sounds so weird también, porque cuando yo dije, pues tengo que postear que necesito esto para abuela, yo estaba como que no había visto mucha gente pidiendo abanico, había visto gente pidiendo ropa, uh, comida, obviamente cosas necesarias, pero yo decía, como que, ¿es un abanico un.? capricho, como que me sentía kind of bad because of it, porque obviamente no sé, it was, it was kind of weird pero de verdad the way people made me feel and the way people came together to help my grandma de verdad que nunca en mi vida lo voy a olvidar y maybe it seems small to you, maybe it seems small to a lot of people, pero de verdad it really meant a lot, porque mira como dije, mi abuela se está recuperando un stroke y no puede pasar mucho calor porque le sube la presión eh, nada, ella tiene algo en la piel que no puede como que sufrir mucho calor Tiene una piel bien sensitiva Y pues, nada, literalmente no puede sufrir mucho calor Y lo digo también porque yo pienso en mi abuela Y pienso también en mucha otra gente envejeciente de este país Que ha sufrido tanto en... en And again, I don't want to even get to it Porque de verdad que me pongo bien mala Me pongo emotional I don't, like Es un tema close to me And I don't even feel 
like I can speak about it that much, pero, pero hay mucha gente sufriendo and I really needed un abanico. Eh, es un abanico solar recargable, como que um, le habíamos comprado para la abuela, pero son muy chiquititos, como que necesitaba algo bastante grande, like un abanico bastante normal. So, lo que hicimos fue, ¿verdad? Yo lo posteé más que a ver, como que de verdad yo dije, pues, aunque sea para como que amortiguar el gasto que hagamos. Literally, porque era de 109 pesos, que terminó siendo 120 y pico pesos. Um, y era como que el único abanico que había cerca de nosotros, so, no podíamos ir a Costco, no podíamos gastar mucha gasolina, it was like a whole thing, kind of time sensitive even. Eh, tanta gente vino a ayudarme y, y estuvo brutal. I gotta say, como que toda la, to all the people that gave money for my grandma, I appreciate it so much. Y de verdad que las palabras no bastan, really. Like, I, I'm, I'm so grateful que pudieron venir a ayudar. Like, I don't want to get, I don't want to get emotional ni nada, because I don't want people thinking that it's fake or whatever, but genuinely, ese tipo de solidaridad nunca se me va a olvidar. Um... It makes me think about a lot of things también, como que we tear each other down tanto, we tear ourselves down tanto, de que el boricua es malo, de que el boricua que si ni qué, and, ¿verdad? No por tirarle a nadie, pero también la generación más, como que la, the older generations, you know, the Gen X, boomers, no quiero hablar de ellos, pero nuestra generación, at least, you know, Gen Z and millennials, como que... They came together, esta gente no gana billete, and they came together to help my grandma. Eso para mí vale todo. Lo vale todo. And I, I just, I really want to say that I appreciate it un montón. Um, so, yeah. Nada, I just wanted to say that. Y, este... But I guess this moves into what we missed out on. I wanted to talk a lot of, about a lot of things. No sé, como que... Obviamente uno trata de find comfort dentro de todo lo que está pasando. Not in the way que hizo aquella tipa, esa tipa, like... That's different. Como que yo siento que también... Mira, no voy a entrar mucho a este tema. Because this is kind of controversial. Pero como que... Porque había gente tra like saliendo y qué sé yo. Cuando no tenían luz en sus casas. Qué sé yo. I, that's a whole... I'm not gonna enter this. You know? <laughs> Acaban de ver literally en vivo una persona como que... Deciding whether or not to entrar en un tema. And I won't. I won't engage. Nada. Este... Hablar de este tema, pues... Es bien fuerte, still, como que todavía hay gente sin luz. Ayer fue que recibieron luz para de gente a los 19 días. ¿Qué es eso? Yo no voy a estar aquí en un soapbox, como dice mi Instagram, como que hablando. Porque yo traté de usar mi Instagram para compartir recursos. No solamente gente que lo necesitaba, ¿verdad? Gente que posteando como que, mira, necesito agua, necesito esto, que si unique. Pero también como que postear sobre esa gente, being like, hey, esta persona necesita ayuda. Como que en tu, ve a tu comunidad and try to help. Como que de verdad quiero... No, ¿Cómo es que se dice? Como que invocar o como que... I want to invite you to... Quiero invitarte a que vayas a suministro PR y busques a tu pueblo a ver cómo puedes ayudar en tu pueblo. Si tienes un momento, si puedes, obviamente. Um, that was like a whole big thing durante como que esos días. Como que yo diría durante el height del de post Fiona. Um, so ya, yeah, nada eh, Hablando de, mira There's a lot of things that I want to do for fall Que obviamente no me sentía cómoda Not just como que posteando Pero just grabar Como que, que kind of, like I wasn't gonna film a TikTok slash reel Cuando estoy aquí pensando en toda la gente de mi país Sufriendo, ¿me entiendes? Um, and not just that, como que genuinamente, no es, ay, si lo posteo, que sea, no, eso, es más como que, like, I genuinely didn't feel like it. Finally, ¿verdad? Lo, como que yo, nosotros no llegó, bueno, a mí, en mi apartamento me llegó un poquito más rápido que a mis padres. Nada, I do want to say, before I start talking about what I really wanted to talk about, que de hecho, no hablé del apagón, el video, no hablé de eso, porque obviamente, pues, todo lo que pasó, But I did want to touch on it. And it's so funny porque ese tema de hace más de tres semanas eh, tiene que ver con el tema que acaba de salir esta semana, which is crazy. I do want to say que nada, como que van a, like, some things are still going to happen. Yo sé que había teased. So I had teased este, algunos proyectos que iban a salir 
um, como que este mes pasado. Obviamente todo se atrasó. Uh, so those projects will come out. Bueno, el primer proyecto was like me reviewing coffee and stuff que va a salir todos los domingos. Voy a estar hablando de sitios de café. Voy a hablar de café just in general. Como que I really want to take that space para, ¿verdad? Como siempre hago con like treats y qué sé yo. Durante la semana, like hoy mismo viernes posteo uno. As I will every week. Pero ese espacio de coffee and, coffee and co. Quiero cogerlo para just like talk about coffee. Because I... Ustedes me conocen, that's just how it is. Este, that was one of the projects that I wanted to do. That was not even, or was it? No, it wasn't. El verdadero project was <laughs> eh, the Puerto Rican experience. Que es como que the satire, uh, headlines, y que se yo. Vi que mucha gente le gustó. That really made me happy porque I really, oh my God, I wanted to make that for so long. Ahora como que él se me fue la musa. Y no estoy como que tan en mood de hacer alguno bueno. I did some para el tiempo del huracán that were actually pretty relevant, so, ¿verdad? Pero, ajá, tengo que, tengo par todavía. That, like, I, I am not finished with this project, pero I'm really excited para hacer más. Cuando me entre la musa, pues, I'll post more. Pero, ajá, Bad Bunny has to do something even funnier. I could do one for Logan Paul. I wouldn't know what the headline is, but whatever. The point is, Gaja, that's one of the projects. Y yo aquí hablando del otro que I just came up with on a whim. Pero nada. Este, the other project, pues, le voy a tirar con esta pregunta. Is Takeshi getting a co-host? Maybe. Maybe. We'll see about that al final de este mes. Uh, that's the project que yo estaba como que... You'll see, you'll see. You'll see what I'm talking about después. I don't want to spoil it. Pero, ajá, este, hopefully ese proyecto se dé bien. Uh, y al final de mes. I have a lot of content, too. Como que there's a few Halloween things that are coming that I'm really excited for. Este, yo obviamente ese proyecto grande. And let's get to... Let's talk about Logan Paul. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see about that al final de este mes. Uh, that's the project que yo estaba como que... You'll see, you'll see. You'll see what I'm talking about. Después. I don't want to spoil it. Pero, ajá, uh -huh, este, hopefully ese proyecto se dé bien. Uh, y al final de mes. I have a lot of content, too. Como que there's a few Halloween things that are coming that I'm really excited for. Este, yo obviamente ese proyecto grande. And let's get to... Let's talk about Logan Paul. I literally stopped recording... And I'm starting to record again this segment <laughs> because I feel like I, my thoughts were all over the place. So I think I can really give you the context and como que my opinions well now. For context, Bad Bunny, literalmente para el tiempo que salió Fiona, para el tiempo de the last, the, the last episode of this podcast, sacó un video musical que also turned into like a documentary talking about ¿Verdad? Hablando de como que Luma, hablando del saqueo de la playa, hablando de los gringos viniendo para acá. Literally, all, every problem that Puerto Rico has right now, él lo, ¿verdad? Como que lo atacó. Even, como que indirectly, he talked about, like, o sea, not talked about, pero como que, nada, I'm not going to get into, like, social subtext, ni nada. Um, so, yeah, like, that video came out, y obviamente, Logan Paul was called out in this video that lasts, like, two and a half, like, 20 minutes or so. 22 minutes, este, not including the video, I think, or including the video, I gotta stop, I, I keep getting derailed, nada, the point is that he called Logan's, Logan Paul's ass out, if you don't know, Logan Paul has been living here, in Dorado, in what, like, in a place known for, like, rich Americans coming and, like, verdad, como que aprovechándose de Act 22, what's Act 22? It's something... It's an incentive that brings in Americans to live tax-free here and to build their business here. It's so stupid and it's so ridiculous porque... Mira, I want to say que El Apagón did give you, like... It's like going onto Wikipedia, checking out Act 22 and putting it in simple English. Like, de verdad, yo siento que lo dio en arroz y habichuela. I think that was great. Like, if you didn't understand it then, you definitely understand it now and you understand why it's bad. It's displacing Puerto Ricans. It's really como que it gave a lot of insight as to like what Act 22 is. And Logan Paul is a beneficiary of that. 
And when he came here, como que muchos gringos también definitely did that uh, to benefit from that. Especially crypto bros. Like, they were like, it's so crazy how our government is incentivizing crypto bros. Not that. Yeah, I, I, again, I'm not an expert on that. I just wanted to say that. Mira. Logan Paul then went on Philip DeFranco, out of all people, como que I really, man, I really liked Philip until this point. Like, he really didn't need to platform him. What's crazy, though, is that, like, I feel like that interview didn't do him any good at all. Like, I think he really dug himself more. He really didn't have to say absolutely anything, and he he did for some freaking reason. He didn't even say, oh, no, I'm not a beneficiary or anything. He's just like, well, so does he. So does he. Which is so stupid. Look, I want to say that to be a beneficiary of Act 22, you have to not have been a Puerto Rican resident for the last 10 years. Bad Bunny hasn't even been famous for like six years, okay? Like big time famous. Like not even the last six years. Are you dumb? Are you dumb? And don't say, what I want to say is that, mira, I do want to say that like, I do think that his business partners or something, como que maybe they do. I do know that Bad Bunny, you know, in his circle, he has like a lot of millionaires. So I'll speak, like, I won't speak on that. Like, it, it's just ridiculous that he wants to, like, play the blame game on Bad Bunny, who is a Puerto Rican resident, who has done so much for the culture. Like, I, th I, not to be, like, a Bad Bunny, well, you know, I don't mean to do that, pero el tipo es gran artista, we all know that. Saber que el artista más grande en el mundo ahora mismo es Boricua, como tú y como yo, criado, nacido y criado en Puerto Rico, is so amazing. And not only that, pero I definitely think Like, Bad Bunny's impact is so big, and it's so great, and it does wonders for Puerto Ricans that I feel like this dude felt so attacked that he just had to go against him for some... Like, I don't get where he gets this, like, idea that Bad Bunny is also... No, Bad Bunny is not like you. Bad Bunny, don't compare yourself to Bad Bunny. Don't be like, oh, so does he... No. No. Bad Bunny... You will never reach the level of stardom, of artistry, of cultural impact, of... Just being like an amazing artist and person as Bad Bunny. Okay, like, I don't know Bad Bunny personally, but it's so ridiculous that this guy felt so, like, I genuinely feel like he felt the hate brought up onto him and he had to, like, attack one of ours. Americans ride for Bad Bunny. I don't understand how, dude, they were like, I, I can't even put it into words. I'm so sorry, but... Para cerrar, I just want to say that it is so annoying when Americans get called out for things that they are actively doing, especially white Americans. White Americans get, like, so fired up over this. And they just don't even either pack it up and go and, like, stop having that kind of problem. Like, if you're getting called out for a problem that you're causing, then leave. Uh, or just, like, shut the fuck up, really, and just be like, hey, yeah. So what about it? Like, own up to it if you're gonna, like, I don't know. Or don't even come. Really, just don't. Don't fucking do this shit. Because, the, like, ustedes están... Emma, no, I want to say this in plain English so they get me. Logan Paul, you are a beneficiary of how horrible the government is treating its own residents. The government isn't regulating how bad of a scheme it is that some American or anyone with, like, so much money, which are typically Americans, are hiking up the price, like... It's like you sell a product, you have a product, and you're selling it for like $200, right? Some American comes and they tell you like, oh, I'll give you like $2,000 for it. How the fuck are they not gonna accept that? Like, you, It's like they said in El Apagón, like, oh, like it's a great negocio, it's a great business deal, but it's literally dip displacing people. And you, you are taking advantage of the fact that the government hasn't regulated that. You are taking advantage of the fact that the government doesn't care about its own people. And, like, sure, you could be like, oh, those are just bad Puerto Ricans, but you are actively, actively being a part of the problem. It's okay to accept that. It's okay to accept that. And more so, I think there's nothing you can really do. Como dijo con sentimientos, there's nothing you can really do to be an ally. There's nothing you can really do to be like, oh, like, well, how can I help? Like, taking, you know, supplies and suministro and stuff like that to people in our 
pueblos, forgot what those were called, in, in our municipalities isn't going to like erase all that you are doing. You are doing a lot of damage to Puerto Rico. And I, like everyone needs you to get the fuck out. Gringo, go home. Like for sh like, I'm sorry. I just also hate Logan Paul as a creator. I just, I have nothing but disdain for this person, no matter what kind of like redemption arc they want to throw him down. So like when he came to PR, I was like, are you kidding me? Like I took it and I took it personally, like Michael Jordan. Like I, I really can't believe that, bro, like I think people really need to open their eyes and see how damaging gringos are being here. They're a plague. They are a plague here in my island and they're causing my island to be displaced. They have and like the crazy thing is they have the they have the privilege of not knowing how damaging their presence here is being. I don't know how strongly this language was and I'm like I'm scared for this video on YouTube. I know I didn't say anything so crazy, but YouTube is crazy. We all know that. So I hope I don't know. I really hope this video stays up. And yeah, I really didn't even say anything that like crazy, but still now nah, i just really want to enjoy my fall i hope next week i come back and i have like a nice fun soft cool episode maybe not next week maybe the week on top um and just be peeled because there's gonna be a lot of activity here on the youtube channel so well on the youtube channel if you're listening to this on anchor or on spotify or anything i'm sorry <laughs> there's still gonna be content but still um yeah so that's it for this week uh Please go help out your fellow neighbors. Como pueden, como puedan, verdad? Like, I, I can't believe that. Ugh, I hate ending the podcast on like a weird note. But I guess that's what this is. Uh, I just want to, I'm going to try to enjoy the rest of my fall and the rest of my winter, I guess. Uh, yeah, gringo go home. I'm going to end the podcast with that. I will see you guys in the next few weeks, not next week, the week on top. See you guys.